Howdy, I'm at the gym. We're gonna do an upper body workout. I haven't filmed a workout in a hot minute on YouTube or honestly even Instagram. I just kind of like got sick of fitness content and honestly I was depressed for a long time and I wasn't really being consistent at the gym so I just didn't want to film. Um, but I'm feeling a little bit better and I want to get back to my gym content so we're gonna do a little workout from the grounds app so on the grounds app we have obviously like the our programs like mine is the juicy challenge which is a six week program and then we also have quick on-demand workouts if you would rather do that one day so I'm just like scrolling through all of them to find an upper body workout that I want to do I'm gonna do the ignite your upper then I will do it mic'd up to talk through what movements I'm doing and all of that so I will see you guys in there Okay, hopefully this is working. So we're gonna start with warm-ups, mobility stretching. I do this on upper bodies as well. Upper body days a little bit. Hopefully you guys. Dangles goblage, but I don't wanna get people in the background, so sorry. Okay. So you, I also have like a resistance band one with like gloves that attach that I got from Revolve like a long time ago that I do for my upper body warm up as well. Or you can take like the little pole, like the shorter pole that's pretty lightweight at your gym and use this as well. We're gonna start with pass throughs. I need to move this dang bench. So you're bringing it all the way back and then bring it all the way back to the front and then just continuing through that movement. So for mobility stretching again, you wanna be consistently moving through the stretch, not holding it. Static stretching is what you do after your workout where you actually hold the position for like 30, 40 seconds. And then we're gonna do figure eight, which are very similar to like around the world. And then we're gonna switch sides. We've got an all pink gym fit happening today and my gym accessories. I'm here for it. This top is Crop Shop Boutique from the Rachel Dillon collection, I think. I also have it in cream. And it's a little different from the ones I normally do because it now has like thumb holes, which I'm here for. I love thumb holes. I really wish like Alphalete would do a top like this. Same with Lazuli. I just really like this type of crop top. It's cute, dainty, girly. Okay, okay, so it freed up. So we're gonna start with wide grip lat pull downs, three sets, and I usually pick a weight that challenges me in the eight to 10 rep range. Oh wait, gotta use my little Pippa towel gloves. Make sure to go slow through the movement. In, but like I have the gorilla pod char or tripod so I've like kind of hopefully made it work uh, that way you can't really see anything though it's so zoomed in but I guess you can see through the mirror but we're on our third set I need to play oh wait I'm supposed to do this 
fifth for floor. So we've got one more after this. Whoopsie dicey. And doing 15 reps. It says 15 reps, but no, I'm gonna pick a weight. I'm gonna go heavier, and I'm personally, I just prefer to do eight to 10 rep range, or like picking a weight that challenges me. And that, if you wanna do 15, definitely do what works for you, but I'm just gonna play around with it a little bit, which again, I like being able to customize workouts. I also went in here and swapped out one of the exercises. Um, I didn't want to like, because I'm wearing a crop top, I didn't want to be leaning on the bench. I'm having skin to skin contact with the stuff. So I swapped it out for alternating dumbbell hammer curls. It was like spider curls on the bench. And I was like, ah, I don't want to do that. So I love that in the grounds app, you literally can go in and swap a movement for something similar. If certain things don't work for you, or if you don't have certain equipment or excuse me, <laughs> a slippery workout. Or if that certain exercise is maybe a little too challenging for you. So I really like that it's super customizable. So, rest 60 seconds. I'm gonna play, what do I wanna listen to? I don't know, I've listened to funk, but lately I've been like, listening to like a lot of throwbacks, like somebody told me, Paralyze, Paralyzer, like, I don't know, it's just been the vibe lately. So I'm gonna play, somebody told me. because it doesn't leak. Whereas the one where you can't put the straw down, leak everywhere. Who wants that? So I have the little pink. I also have the green for a little Cosmo, Wanda and Cosmo vibe. I love your hydro jug. Pre-workout is the one-up pre-workout Miami Vice. My go-to, Code Bailey will save you 20%. Literally the best flavor they've ever done. Shout out Cindy Adams. All right. Oh, I got one more rep. Sorry, not one more, one more set. And then we move into our next exercise. Okay. Next we've got, oh, you guys can't even see. Oh, yes you can, right? I hope you guys can see. Next we've got close grip. Where's my phone? How many, I think we're doing four sets. Close grip, seated cable rows, 60 second rest, four sets for each. So we've got it on, I'm gonna go to this weight. So you plant, you want to plant your feet. Don't pull with your back, pull with your feet. Before you start your set, I just wanted to tell you that your outfit is so cute. Oh, thank you. Again, I keep my legs slightly bent. And then we're, again, we're using a close grip attachment. Basically, pull your elbows back and you want to feel the contraction. When I go back, let me. So pulling your shoulders back and your elbows back and then you feel the muscle contraction and then you're gonna be bringing it back. But I like to kind of feel the stretch and then come back over. Obviously I don't wanna like completely hunch, but I do like to kind of feel the stretch extend in my arms and then bring it back.
Next up we have single arm dumbbell rows, three sets. 12 reps each side, 60 seconds rest in between. I really like this movement, especially because I do have scoliosis, so I do have an imbalance. One side of my back is much stronger and the muscle is much more built up just from favoring the side for so many years. I feel like definitely having this movement, single arm dumbbell rows, has helped a lot with my back pain. Obviously it has not fixed my scoliosis. I still very much have scoliosis, but it has helped because I like to go a little bit heavier and do a little bit more reps on the weaker side to really help build it up. So I do go lighter weight on the side that is stronger, because that's at least what I do. But obviously, consult your doctor. We're gonna do three sets. I have 30 for the weak side, 35 for the strong side, and then I'm gonna increase weight from the stronger side as I go, but I'm probably gonna keep it 30 for my weaker side the whole time. You want to be bringing your elbow to your stomach. setting so you want to step back and then you're going to be pulling it basically toward your ears and then bringing it back We have a bicep, two bicep movements, and then we're out of here. We're out of here, and then I'm gonna get me some food because I'm failing at my bulk. I keep skipping meals, not on purpose, but one, I don't wanna cook, or if I don't wanna cook, I don't wanna spend money and eat out, so then I just end up like eating a light snack, which isn't enough calories when you're bulking. So I'm trying to get better about that trying to get back to my two protein shakes a day, making sure I have high protein for each meal. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry guys. So that's where I'm at. I have been depressed, bed rotting, not doing the best. So I wasn't working out much, I wasn't eating much. So I ended up losing weight and muscle. So my goal right now is to, to get that back and then really focus on bulking so I can grow this dump truck, this wagon, because right now it's not wagoning. But it is, but it is. Right, I've rested enough. Time for another set and we're gonna up the weight. alternating hammer curls. I did swap this out. It was a spider curl on the bench, but again, I didn't want to do that movement, so I swapped it out. Um, 12 reps each side, and then we're just gonna be doing three sets of these. So hammer curls 
You're basically just bringing your arm straight up. Your palm is gonna be facing inwards and alternating, we're gonna do one, and then move on to the other side, and then continue that. Like this, 